So now I've got my English IV split in half and you will notice once it's split in half, it will start to dry out very, very quickly. And that is because it's no longer got the protective bark on the inside here. So I always keep some water nearby, uh, partly to keep it moist and partly to help cleaning, clean as you go. I usually do this outside and uh, it, cause it is quite messy, it gets a bit messy. Um, so if this is starting to feel a little bit dry, just give it a dip like that. And then you'll see the bark just kind of wants to come off right now. It kind of just peels like that. It's been, it was a very wet spring and I went and harvested this before, right before we had this heat wave. Um, because I find that once the ivy sits all summer, in the hot dry weather and it hasn't been taking up any water, I've, I personally find it's harder to pull the bark off in my experience. Um, you might have a different experience uh, and especially if you are uh, pulling it up where it is hot and dry, you might just want to try soaking it and maybe that'll work for you. So I'm just kind of popping the bark off and sometimes it'll pop right off like that. I'm kind of grabbing it if you can see that with my thumb and forefinger and kind of just popping it right off. And I just, this is really nice and easy to work with. And then where there's still some bits right here, just take my knife, which is, this is not a very sharp knife uh, because I haven't sharpened it, but it's perfect for this right now because all I'm really doing is kind of taking off some of the, the there's an outer, outer membrane. Um, and you don't even really have to do that at this point. I often do that as I go as I'm weaving with it later, uh, as you'll see if you um, if you try this yourself. Um, so the main thing I keep the knife for actually is to, if there's any kind of knot, not, like knobby bits right here, where the bark's not peeling off very easily, I'll do that and then I'll just continue on popping it off like that. And again, it comes off pretty easily. And if you do find, if you do have a batch that is difficult to take the bark off. You can either try soaking it for a few hours if that's not working it. If that's not working, soak it overnight. If that's not working, I've also heard a hot water dip. Uh, dip it in hot water for 10, 15 minutes and see if the bark's any easier to peel off. And yeah, this is very labor intensive. There's just no way around it. Um, I can, but you know, you have to enjoy doing it. I can sit and do it for hours and I do. So there we go. There's a length of the peeled English ivy and you can see it's got this sort of green tinge to it and that's that membrane um, that's just underneath the bark. And again, you can just scrape that right off. I usually don't get too fussy with it at this point because as I dry it and weave with it later, uh, I'm always uh, sort of cleaning as I go. You can also just use your fingernail if you uh, if you prefer that. And then I, I will just um, put them in a little circle to dry and start my little pile of peeled ivy. Come on.